Hey guys, Rob here at 3D Printscape. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate the flow rate for your printer. Uh, this is pretty much universal across all printers. Uh, the setting is pretty much controlled inside of your slicer. I'm going to be using Cura for the example today and also my Ender 3 Pro here. Um, basically what we're going to want to do is print a little block like this uh, with the inside hollowed out so no infill and the top off so that we can measure the actual thickness of the wall. I'll talk about all of that when we jump over to the computer. Um, basically, I will uh, show you how to set up this print so we can print it, talk about what measurements we need to get, and then show you uh, what changes we need to make afterwards. If you have any questions about the process, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or go ahead and join us on Discord and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Before we jump over to the computer, let's go ahead and talk about why we want to uh, adjust the flow rate. Uh, basically, the flow rate will impact the thickness of your walls. Um, if you're trying to print 0.4 millimeters or three walls, which would be 1.2 millimeters, and it's off on each side, you're going to end up with a wall thickness that's either larger or smaller than what you're expecting, which will impact the overall dimensions of the print and could also lead to um, random issues if you have, depending upon your infill percentage where it's going to push some filament in or out if it's over extruding. For these calculations, I like to get my E-step set first. So if you haven't already done that, I'll link to a video below to uh, go over that process. It doesn't take long, but I recommend starting there. And then once you have your E-steps calibrated, uh, we can go ahead and walk through adjusting your flow rate. One more thing I wanted to make a note of before we jump over to the computer is um, I'm using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and I'm testing at 0.4 millimeters like I said, um, but if you are running a brace of filaments through here and the nozzle is pretty worn, you won't be able to get down to that 0.4. You might be able to do a wall thickness of either two or three to try to offset it a little bit, but you're going to struggle to try to get uh, the accuracy that we're looking for. So just keep that in mind. All right, so now let's go ahead and jump over to the computer. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use Cura. Other slices are slightly different as far as the flow rate. Uh, but in Cura, if you go under material, you'll see flow. It's just percentage based. Um, I think Simplify 3D it just does like one, um, which equals 100% in this scenario. Um, but by default, Cura is going to be set at 100%. So what I have here is just a basic uh, 20 by 20 cube. So if we slice it, there's nothing fancy about it at all. Uh, just a basic cube. So what we want to do as far as uh, tracking or changing the flow rate is we want to go ahead and make some changes so that we can measure the wall thickness based on the print. So what we're going to want to do here is uh, take a look at our line width. Right now it's 0 0.4 millimeters. So that's what a single wall should actually come up as. All right, so to test that, what we're gonna do is change the wall line count to one, which will make that 0 0.4 millimeters. And then we can go ahead and take the top off because we wanna be able to get calibers in there to measure it. So I'm gonna set the top layers to zero. Now, if you wanted to, you could also take the bottom off. It's really just your choice. Um, I left it on with my test just for adhesion purposes, uh, but it's not required. All we care about is the line thickness. All right, and then the other thing we need to change is our infill density. We wanna change that to zero. So let's slice this and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so that finished slicing, let's go over to preview and I'll show you what we're looking at here. So basically, we just have a open cube. Uh, we have the bottom, then our four sides. These sides here should be uh, the same as the line thickness or line width, which is 0.4 millimeters. So when we print this, we're gonna have to get the measurements on all four sides so we can kind of uh, see what it's doing. And then from there, uh, we can take the average and then uh, make some adjustments to the flow rate to either increase or decrease based on what we're seeing. But this is about as basic of a print as you can get. It won't take long. As you can see here, it says 26 minutes. Uh, we just have the bottom. If we don't wanna do the bottom, that'll take some more time off as well. And then the single wall all the way up. All right, so now we just wanna go ahead and save this to a file and kick off the print, and then we can get some measurements. All right, so my first print finished. Uh, now what we want to do is go ahead and uh, measure the thickness of each of the four walls and mark those down. So I'm just going to start here. We are at 0.48 millimeters. 
Next one is 0.49. So I'm going to write this down as I'm going. I just don't want to lose track of which one I'm marking. All right, so 0.48, 0.49. And point four eight. And point four seven. So like I said, you want to write those down. And then we're going to grab the average of the sides and I'll show you how to do that really quick on the computer and then um, run through a quick formula to calculate how we handle the flow rate and then we'll go from there. Now that we're back at the computer here, we want to go ahead and get the average of our four sides. So I had 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.48, and 0 0.47, so we'll just add those together. And then divide it by four giving us an average of 0.48. So now we want to go ahead and get the expected flow rate. So if we take the 100% and just multiply that by 0.4, uh, gives us 40. And then we want to divide that by the 0.48. That gives us 83.33. All right, so now we want to, this is going to be our new flow rate. So let's go ahead and go over to our uh, flow rate setting and change this from 100 to 83.33. And then slice it again, and then we'll just go kick off the print and then remeasure. One other thing I wanted to make a note since we're here, um, if you want it to change the walk count or the thickness from one to either uh, two or three. Uh, typically, you can be printing it with a three. You can do that as well. That'll uh, make it a little bit easier to dial in if your nozzle is worn. Um, but my, my nozzle is relatively new, so I'm trying to uh, get it as accurate as I can with one wall thickness or one wall being printed. All right, so the second print just finished, so let's go ahead and get our measurements. We should be closer to the 0 0.40 mark. Here, this is 0.42. All right, and then 0.42. And then if you have, if your calibers are inaccurate, you might be a little off on this. Um, I'm struggling with these ones that are relatively cheap, but they're good enough. Uh, this one is 0.43 and 0.41. So I'm going to go ahead and write those down. 0 0.42, 0 0.42, 0 0.43, 0 0.41. All right, so that's going to give us an average of 0 0.42. So right now we have the choice of whether we want to leave that where it's at. It's a decent bit better than what it was before. Or we can run through the process again with the new numbers. Or go ahead and do it with uh, two layers instead of one. Um, at this point... I would go ahead and go with the two uh, just to try to fine tune it because most of the time you're going to be printing with three layers. Uh, so I was just trying to get as close as I could with one, um, but what's really important is your two and three mark. Uh, so but you're going to follow the same pattern uh, that we just did. You'll just change uh, the settings from one layer to three inside of Cura, and then uh, we can go from there. But I'm pretty happy with uh, 0.42. I might adjust it a little bit more, um, but for the purposes of this video, I think that that covers what we're looking for. Um, again, you want to get it as close to 0 0.40 as possible, uh, but we took it from an average of, what, 0.48 to 0.42, so that was a pretty big improvement. All right, guys, so that was the process to calculate your flow rate. As you can see, we were able to make some small adjustments uh, to get the wall thickness to about where we wanted. Uh, if you wanted to try to fine tune it a little bit more, you can. Uh, the next thing I would recommend doing is doubling the wall thickness, so doing 0.8 millimeters or two layers, 
and then trying to uh, fine tune it with that. And that said, if your nozzle's worn, it might be a little bit easier to start with that route to begin with. Uh, but this is a decent nozzle. It's hardened steel and relatively new. So I wanted to try to get it as close to 0.4 millimeters as I can. But if you have any questions about the process, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks.